Christy Lamb has been described as the full package. She is a powerhouse vocalist and a vibrant multi-instrumental award-winning singer-songwriter. This uber-talented songstress is a golden guitar winner who has uh, who was voted CMC New Oz Artist of the Year and was subsequently crowned CMC Female Artist of the Year. Christy recently released her eagerly awaited fourth studio album entitled simply Truth that was announced as one of the top five highest selling country albums in Australia at this year's Golden Guitar Awards. And her latest outstanding single, Tipsy, that I played just a minute ago, is undoubtedly going to be hugely successful in a very short space of time. I'm deeply honoured and uh, privileged to have Christy standing by on the phone waiting to have a chat with me. So let's bring her on air without any further delay. Hello, Christy. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good, all things considered. Bit of rain and... Uh, oh, no, there's blue sky out there. Wow, Melbourne. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Melbourne winter and no rain. You're doing very well. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, today's not bad. Um, it's been a bit rainy and windy for the last few days, but yeah, it's, it's okay today. Uh, but anyway, enough of the weather. Um, Welcome to the Country Club. It is indeed a, a rare pr- privilege to have you on the show. So uh, thank you for the time to have a chat with me. Oh, no worries. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, always, always uh, happy to promote good Aussie talent and you tick all the boxes in that regard. Um, oh, thank you. Let's uh, let, let's talk about uh, your, your single Tipsy that I just played. Um, was, was, was that a co-write or did you write it on your own? I did co-write it, and I actually um, co-wrote it with a couple of girls over in America whilst on Zoom last year. So okay. I'd never met them, um, but we all had a good good old time writing about it. Okay. And, um, yeah, I guess everyone can relate to that idea of, you know, whether the the situation you're in or just the day has gotten you down or something, you're looking forward to a good old night out with your friends or your family and um, just letting your hair down a little bit. So that's what this one was about really okay well i was just about to ask you that's and you've covered it quite adequately so um nice uh, uh yeah good stuff um so tell me about the album How, how's that going uh you, you you must be pretty proud of it yeah well i released truth um at the end of september last year and was stoked to hear it got a top five highest selling album of last year which was amazing news excellent yeah released so late in the year so that was um pretty awesome and um i kind of was like okay well if that that's going so well let's give some everyone out there something new to listen to as well um if they're enjoying a taste of that let's let's keep the the ball rolling and that's where tipsy we're at with tipsy so that's the first single off the the next album which i'm currently still writing at the moment i okay from nashville just this week, actually, a couple of days ago. I just got back after being there for about three and a half weeks, and I was just over there songwriting okay. every day, sometimes two songs a day, and trying to figure out what the rest of this album is going to be, because at the moment, it, it, we've got the one song, Tipsy, so we've got to flush out the rest of the tracks now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the album will be worth waiting for, and uh, at, at the end of this, uh, I, I might send you a text with our uh, mailing address, if you can send me the CD when your album comes out sure thing no worries i'd love to i'd love to get that and uh uh because i always would looking out for some more uh christy lamb uh material to add to my playlist (laughs) i appreciate that thank you yeah oh well you know well i've got quite a few of your songs on my playlist at the moment but uh there's always room for more (laughs) so um Yeah, I'd I'd love to get my hands on that album when it's released. Um, so, uh, Tipsy, I, I for some reason I thought Tipsy was off your last album, Truth, or your current er- current album, sorry, Truth. But uh, yeah, apparently, no, that, it's a surprise new one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so at the moment it's a standalone single uh, until the album's released. Is that the case? That's correct. Yes. Cool. All right. Uh, well, there you go, folks. Um, now, um, importantly, uh, where can people go and buy your music? You can find it at all the um, 
the regular places. You can stream it on Spotify. You can download it on iTunes. Um, stream it on Apple Music. Um, but if you you still want a physical copy and you'd like something signed um, with a personal message from me, um, the best place to do that is to go to my website direct, christylamb.com. Click on the shop tab there and you'll find the CDs. You'll also find other merchandise, the T-shirts, the, the caps, the stubby coolers, all that kind of stuff as well. Okay. So personally sign and post them to you wherever you are in Australia. I might go on there and get a stubby holder. I need a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, popular those things. Yeah, um, I, I'm a bit iffy about t-shirts because every time I buy a t-shirt, it's too small for me. Oh, <laughs> I think a lot of people have had that problem since COVID. <laughs> been like, mm, yeah, my, my old size doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm yeah, surprised. We'll you out, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surprised at the the amount of my clothing that has suddenly shrunk for no, no apparent reason. <laughs> of course it's drunk, yes. <laughs> but of course I don't imagine you'd have that problem. <laughs> oh no, there's a few items in there. But I'm like, oh, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's... Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, all right, so look, um, I've I got no idea uh, how long you've been playing music, so I, I really am curious to know how long you've been doing it. When did you start? Um, I guess I started when I was about 14 doing music lessons and picked up a guitar and um, was singing and trying to write songs. All that kind of stuff started around then. So what, about six years ago? <laughs> oh, you're very kind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, professionally, I've, I've pretty much left school and that's all I've done is just go around the, the music scene, the live circuit and trying to get as many gigs as I can and right. been lucky enough to pick up some great tours along the way. Um, okay. I've, yeah, worked with Lee Kernigan for a couple of tours. I've oh, okay. Years left. Yeah. And uh, my very first tour was when I was about 20, I think. Yeah, in my second year of uni, I, I landed a tour with um, John English around Australia as well. Right. Um, so, yeah, it, I mean, it's led me to some pretty great places as well. But um, we're slowly getting the music scene back, as as we all know, since yep. since COVID's happened. It's slowly coming back with all the festivals and um, all the gigs are kind of coming back in, which is great. So, yeah. yeah, it's good to think about the good old days. And I'm like, oh, come on, let's let's get those big tours happening again. So yeah, it seems to be coming back yeah, with us. Yeah. It is. It's uh, and it's great to see. And I think, from what I'm seeing here locally in Melbourne, anyway, it seems to be coming back with a strength. Um, mm. I, I was uh, at a show uh, just um, on on Friday. Um, I saw Travis Collins, uh, and he's supported by uh, Sarah Berkey. Um, great show, great show, and the place was packed, absolutely oh, shoulder to shoulder. So um, yeah, I think that's what you can expect uh, now when you go uh, out and do a gig or a festival or whatever. Um, because I know I know you are a ma- massive draw card. Uh, without a doubt, um, and I'm not saying that just to you know be complimentary. I, I honestly believe that, and I know it for a fact. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. So you know, I, I think you know wherever you put a show on, you know you get you're bound to draw an audience. And uh, oh, hello, someone's uh, we're, we're doing we're doing a working bee here in the studio at the moment, and uh, there's all sorts of funny noises and vibrations going on. Um, oh, that's good. But I'll try and work around that anyway. <laughs> Um, so, what's your favourite thing about being a performer, you know, being up on stage and, you know, performing in front of a crowd? Um, I always just love getting to be a bit bigger and larger than life than you can be in your own little home confined, you know, you get to be on a big stage with, um, you can crank the, the band up louder, you don't have to have noise restrictions, you can be loud and proud and right. to share stories with everybody and, you know, having people relate to it or just enjoy it or it's kind of an escape for a lot of people, like punters as well, like right. going to a festival, getting going out for the weekend, getting to enjoy some live music, but it's also an escape for us as well. It's a release and um, sharing our stories and our truths with everybody. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's just a great environment um, to, to be in, to to make things bigger and um, to also share something with other people and that human connection. That's great, yeah. That, that's nice. Uh, and I, I guess that's what it, what it is all about, really. 
um, you know, that, that human connection. I mean, what's the point of it otherwise, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Um, all right, so now here's, here's a question. I mean, you're, you're very much inside the heart of the beast, so to speak. Uh, so I'm curious uh, about your view uh, of the Australian country music landscape uh, from your perspective. Um, do you think it's healthy? Is it thriving? Does it need resuscitating? I'd love to get your, your idea. Um, I think it's it's in a pretty good place. There's definitely, um, I mean, in the last year or so since COVID, there's been, you know, grants and people trying to put on new festivals and things like that, which mm. is awesome to see some support behind live music as well. Um, but then I've also seen recently a couple of events and festivals cancelling because people aren't buying their tickets in advance and it's too risky to put it on, um, not knowing how many people will turn up on the day. Right. And I think it's because there's so much choice out there as well. So it's a little... It's hard to um, kind of get that balance right of having lots on that we all want to play at and um, perform at and have lots of options out there for people. But if there's too many options, then they kind of, you know, spread out for everybody and we're not getting the numbers at certain events as well. So... Yeah, it's that little from column A, little from column B. We're in a good place, but then, you know, there's there's too much of a good thing as well. Yeah, um, do, do you, I'm getting the impression that um, you, you might uh, see it as being a little bit oversaturated in terms of, you know, live live gigs. Um, I've just noticed a few posts, particularly on Facebook, about I think it's more events in Queensland. Queensland have got a lot of events going on. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're the ones that are kind of, there's a couple that have had to postpone or cancel because of ticket sales, but there's okay. many other events on at the same time. So right. it's not like the fans are losing out. There's still plenty to see, but it's just yeah, a few events cancelling for the performers that obviously were looking forward to doing more than the one festival mm. are getting less work because, yeah, there's not enough demand to fill all these new festivals that are going on. So, yeah, it's a little, a little bit of a challenge at the moment. Obviously, okay. we'd love to keep them all. So everybody out there, support live music where you can. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you, you, you heard the, you heard the lady there, folks. You know, get out there and uh, uh, look. There, there is absolutely. You can go out and buy all the CDs you want, or you know, uh, you know, stream all the music you want. But at the end of the day, there is really no substitute for going out and seeing a band live or an artist or. You know, wh- whoever you follow, there is no no substitute. I don't think anyway for a live performance, um, because that is really the heart and soul of music. You know, is you know going out there and seeing your favourite uh, artist up on stage in person, live, great band, great music. You know, coming at you. There is no substitute for that feeling. I uh, have to agree. You know, so and I'm sure you'll agree with that, Christy. I do. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Um, now, uh, what what advice uh, what, what advice would you have for someone who's just starting out in in um, in, in in music? You know, generally, but uh, you know, specifically country music. Uh, country is um, it's an awesome genre to be in. Everyone's super lovely, super friendly. Um, just. Just be yourself. I mean, there's, there's a lot of artists out there as well, so you don't want to be just like them because there's already one of them out there as well. So okay. be yourself and um, that'll really shine through. When when people are genuine people, um, you get that genuine connection with, with the audience as well. Okay. All right. Good advice there. Um, now, uh, I mean, you, you mentioned this uh, a, a new album in, in the works. Um and, and that is something that's a- absolutely worth looking forward to. Um, but um, what else is next for you? You know, what do, what do you got coming up in the way of festivals or gigs or tours? You know. Yeah, we've got um, a, quite a few dates starting more from next month, August to the end of the year. So, right. we've got a few festivals in there. We've got a few um, uh, shows with another artist, or you know, mixing it up, or they're just straight Christy Lamb shows but yeah there's a whole range on there so the easiest way to um, see where we are and if we're coming near you is again to go to the website christylamb.com and click the tour tab this time and that'll list all the dates 
where we are. So we've got plenty of dates going on. And, of course, now I'm back from Nashville and just getting over my jet lag. I'll be going through those songs that I've written, trying to remember all of them. I think there's um, a good 25, 30 songs that I've written in those couple of weeks. Wow. I remember them all and work through them and see if they need refining, any tweaks I can do, then pick the the, the best ones out of that bunch and then record them and then they'll be the releasing. So it's a little way off yet, but it is in the works. Sounds like a dub, double album coming up. <laughs> we'll have to see how good the first week or so was when I was jet lagged. Uh, those songs might get scrapped, but um, <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. well, I'll, I'll be reviewing them soon. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, look, I, I, th- that must be a really challenging process. Uh, you know, when when you've written a whole bunch of songs and you want to, you know, put them together on an album, and you can't get them all on there, you know, um, so you got to you got to sort of pick and choose. And uh, I, I I can imagine that being, you know, quite a quite a uh, like a conundrum, if you like, you know, just um, you know, they'll put that one on or that one or you know. So is is that much the case? Um, a little bit, um, but I think as as I've gone through and. Um I had a few albums under my belt now. It's kind of getting a little bit easier. You kind of know yourself a bit more, know um, what songs have been popular of yours, um, whether it's, you know, the upbeat, rocky breakup songs or if it's a love poppy song or if it's the ballads or, you know, that kind of thing. You'll get a general gist of what people are connecting to most when you're performing live and seeing the reactions of the crowd particularly at festivals and things like that, the ones people are singing along to the most, and you kind of go, okay, that's, that's what people want to hear more of from me. So that also helps make the decision. But also, yeah, just as you uh, grow as an artist, you kind of go, yeah, I've done that before. Okay. Uh, I haven't done that. That's, that'll be something a little bit different. You know, that'll keep people interested and make them get the album because it's different to that one. So there's all these different factors that come into it, but also, yeah, you just kind of get better and stronger as a songwriter the further on you go and you'll go yeah no nah, that one's not as good as this one um yeah this is definitely my best work yeah you know you you kind of know from yourself of okay. what your standard is yeah yeah okay yeah well experience experience uh, is probably your, your best uh, your best judge i guess um yeah, definitely now, unfortunately, uh, Christy, we're out of time. Um, you know, I've, I've got uh, lots of other stuff I need to squeeze in. Um, but, look, I thank you so much uh, for your time uh, here on um, your su- Sunday afternoon and, uh, you know, having a chat with me. I do very much appreciate it, and I thank you for it. So um, can I wish you all the best uh, for the future and, uh, you know, all, uh, all the best to you and your family? Thank you very much. It's been lovely chatting with you too. All right. Look forward to doing it again sometime, hopefully. Um, maybe when the new album comes out. Yeah, sure. I'll let you know. Absolutely. I'm sure, so. I'm sure someone will get in touch with me and say, do you want to do an interview with Christy Lamb <laughs> about a new album? Oh, yeah. You know, as yeah, a Pope of Catholic. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, again, thank you, Christy. And, uh, you know, be safe and uh, travel, travel well. No worries, you too. Thank you. Okay, bye for now. Bye.